Hello students. Today's class is about rest of the thyroid hormone. So first the mechanism of thyroid hormone. Mechanism of action of thyroid hormone. T4 and T3 readily diffuses through the cell membrane. Much of the T4 is deiodinated to form T3 which interacts with the thyroid hormone receptor bound as a heterodimer with a retinoid X receptor of the thyroid hormone response element of the gene. The binding of the thyroid hormone induces conformational change in the receptor leading to dissociation of the core pressure complex from the receptor thereby allowing an activator complex consisting of thyroid hormone, thyroid hormone response element and coactivator. This causes either increase or decrease in the transcription of genes that lead to formation of proteins thus producing the thyroid hormone response of the cell. So what are the effects of thyroid hormone? One of the principal functions of thyroxine is to increase the number and activity of mitochondria which in turn increases the rate of formation of ATP to energize cellular function. Thus it increases the oxygen consumption of almost all metabolically active tissues except adult brain, testis, uterus, lymph nodes, spleen and anterior pituitary. It increases the basal metabolic rate. Actually, thyroid hormone increases active transport of ions through cell membrane by activating enzymes such as sodium potassium ATPase. Because this process uses energy and increases the amount of heat produced in the body, it might be one of the mechanisms by which thyroid hormone increases the body's metabolic rate. Excess quantities of thyroid hormone can increase the basal metabolic rate 60 to 100% above normal. Conversely, basal metabolic rate falls to almost one half normal in absence of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone has both chronotropic and inotropic effect on heart. T3 enters the myocyte, combines with its receptors and enters nucleus where it promotes the expression of some genes and inhibits the expression of others. Genes for alpha myosin heavy chain, sarcoplasmic reticulum, calcium ATPase, beta adrenergic receptors, G proteins, sodium potassium ATPase, and certain potassium channels are enhanced. Whereas genes for beta myosin heavy chain, phospholamban, Two types of adenylcyclase, T3 nuclear receptor and sodium calcium exchanger are inhibited. The net result is 
increased heart rate and force of contraction thyroid hormone stimulates lipolysis in adipose tissue lipids are mobilized rapidly from the fat tissues and this increases the free fatty acid concentrations in plasma and greatly accelerates the oxidation of free fatty acids by cells it increases protein breakdown in muscles it also increases the rate of carbohydrate absorption and stimulates almost all aspects of carbohydrate metabolism including rapid glucose uptake by cells enhanced glycolysis and enhanced gluconeogenesis all these effects result from the overall increase in cellular metabolic enzymes it lowers circulating cholesterol level phospholipids and triglycerides in plasma by increasing cholesterol secretion in bile and consequent loss in feces and by increasing number of ldl receptors on liver cells leading to rapid removal of ldl from plasma by the liver and subsequent secretion of cholesterol in these lipoproteins by the liver cells in humans the effect of thyroid hormone on growth is manifested mainly in the growing children it is essential for normal growth and skeletal maturation thyroid hormone normally potentiates the effect of growth hormone on tissues an important effect of thyroid hormone is to promote growth and development of the brain during fetal life and for the first few years of postnatal life so how does thyroid hormone synthesis and secretion regulated tsh also known as thyrotropin an anterior pituitary hormone increases secretion of thyroxine and triiodothyronine by the thyroid gland it has multiple effects on thyroid hormone it increases proteolysis of the thyroglobulin and thus increases the secretion of thyroxine and triiodothyronine by thyroid gland this is the most early effect it also increases the activity of iodine pump which increases the rate of iodine trapping in the glandular cells 
it increases iodination of tyrosine to form the thyroid hormone it increases size and secretory activity of the thyroid cells and it increases the number of thyroid cells plus change from cuboid cuboidal to colmus cells thus tsh increases all the known secretory activities of the thyroid glandular cells anterior pituitary secretion of tsh is controlled by a hypothalamic hormone trh or thyrotropin releasing hormone which is secreted by nerve endings in the median eminence of hypothalamus from median eminence trh is transported to anterior pituitary by way of hypothalamic hypophyseal portal blood increased thyroid hormone in the body inhibit secretion of tsh by the anterior pituitary when the rate of thyroid hormone secretion rises to about 1.75 times normal the rate of tsh secretion falls essentially up to zero so this is normal reference range of total t4 free t4 total t3 free t3 and tsh metabolism of thyroid hormone so there are three types of deiodinases d1 d2 and d3 these deiodinases deiodinates thyroxine to triiodothyronine or reverse t3 some of the t4 and t3 is further converted to iodotyrosine by these deiodinases t4 and t3 are also conjugated in the liver to form sulfate and glucuronides and passes into intestine and there is oxidative deamination of the alanine side chain leading to the formation of the corresponding iodothyroacetate and ether link cleavage these all are excreted in a stool some conjugates are hydrolyzed and reabsorbed through enterohepatic circulation 
sum T4 and T3 also passes directly from the circulation to the intestinal lumen. The iodide lost by these routes amount to about 4% of the total da daily iodine loss. Excess iodine produced as a byproduct of thyroid hormone synthesis is effectively scavenged by the thyroidal enzyme iodotyrosine dehalogenase 1 or dhal1 So what is hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism refers to synthesis and secretion of excess thyroid hormone from thyroid gland. There is another term synonymous but slightly different from hypothyroidism and that is thyrotoxicosis which refers to any state of excess circulating thyroid hormone regardless of, of its source. So what are the causes of hypothyroidism? So first one is thyroid overactivity. The most common cause of thyroid overactivity is Graves' disease. Others are solitary toxic adenoma, toxic multinodular goiter, early phases of Hashimoto's thyroiditis because in late phase of Hashimoto's thyroiditis there is hypothyroidism. TSS secreting pituitary tumor Extra thyroidal causes are factitious or iatrogenic hyperthyroidism that is administration of T3 or T4 and ectopic thyroid tissues So what are the signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism? So heat intolerance, weight loss, basal metabolic rate increases from 10% to 100% from normal, sweating, warm and soft skin, hyperphagia, increased pulse pressure, nervousness, hyperactivity, anxiety, fine tremors of outstretched fingers, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal tenderness, dyspnea, shortness of breath and tachypnea, diplopia, retroorbital pain, sense of irritation in eye, eyelid retractions and lag, periorbital edema, chemosis, proptosis and ophthalmoplegia. These all are the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. What are the investigation required for diagnosis of hyperthyroidism? TSH 
थ्री टी फोर एंड टी थ्री तो फ्री टी फोर माइट बी हाई और नॉर्मल टी एस एच मस्ट बी लो इट इज ट्रीटेड बाय रिड्यूसिंग थायराइड हार्मोन सिंथेसिस यूजिंग इधर एंटी थायराइड ड्रग्स और बाय रिड्यूसिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ थायराइड टिश्यूज विथ रेडियो आयोडिन आयोडिन वन थर्टी वन और थायराइड एक्टमी सो द मेन एंटी थायराइड ड्रग्स आर थायोनामाइड्स दैट इज प्रोपाइल थायोरेसिल कार्बीमाजोल और मेथीमाजोल ऑल दीज ड्रग्स इनहिबिट थायरोपेक्सीडेज reducing oxidation and organification of iodide in addition propyl thioracyl also inhibits d2 diiodinase reducing conversion of t4 to t3 in many tissues नेक्स्ट इज हाइपोथायरोडिज्म हाइपोथायरोडिज्म इज अ स्टेट ऑफ इनसफिशियंट सर्कुलेटिंग थायराइड हार्मोन्स हाइपोथायरोडिज्म ऑलवेज रिजल्ट फ्रॉम डिफिशियंट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ थायराइड हार्मोन कॉज्ड इधर बाय a defect in thyroid gland itself which is known as primary hypothyroidism or by reduced tsh or thyrotropin stimulation which is known as secondary or central hypothyroidism hypothyroidism may be present since birth or congenital hypothyroidism or it may be acquired later so syndrome of adult hypothyroidism is generally called mixed edema whereas congenital thyroidism is called cretinism so there are multiple causes of congenital hypothyroidism but here are the few important causes maternal iodine deficiency fetal thyroid dysgenesis inborn error of thyroid hormone synthesis maternal anti thyroid antibodies that cross the placenta and fetal hypopituitary hypothyroidism so clinical features of hypothyroidism basal metabolic rate falls up to 40% in mixed edema there is coarse and sparse hair dry and yellowish skin also called carotinemia actually thyroid hormone is necessary for hepatic conversion of carotin to vitamin A and accumulation of carotin in blood in hypothyroidism is responsible for the yellowish tint of the skin carotinemia can be distinguished from jaundice because in carotinemia the sclera are not yellow other features of mixed edema is cold intolerance 
husky and slow voice poor memory slow mentation plasma col cholesterol level is increased face might be puffy hands and feet are also puffy there is complaint of constipation weakness and tiredness tender reflexes are delayed in creatinism there is dwarfism mental retardation pot bellies enlarged and protruded tongue and deaf mutism in investigation tsh and free t4 assays are advised in some cases anti thyroperoxidase antibodies is also advised tsh might be elevated or normal along with low or normal free t4 so what is the treatment treatment is obviously the substitute for thyroid hormone that is levothyroxine it is always started with lower dose the dose is adjusted on the basis of tsh level with the goal of treatment being a normal tsh ideally in the lower half of reference range tsh responses are gradual and should be measured after about 2 months after instituting treatment or after any change in levothyroxine doses patient may not experience full relief from symptoms until 3 to 6 months after normal tsh levels are restored so this is all about thyroid hormone thanks